Hi everybody, my name is Alan Jones and welcome to the Search Forward Show. And today we're gonna to be talking about three things. Number one, um, standalone augmented reality applications. Do they work, do they not work? And I'm gonna be using Hunger Games as a use case of something that we did two years ago. Second thing is the VR AR Association. If you guys love AR and VR and you're not part of it, you're missing out. So I'm gonna leave a link below so you guys can subscribe. And three is virtual reality and maximizing your ROI. So I'm gonna leave a free book. Lick, click on the link below and you'll be able to download it for free. And with that, let's start Surge Forward. Thank you. So welcome to the Surge Forward show. Surge Forward meaning that one day, everything around us is gonna be augmented with digital content. So whether that's gonna be an augmented reality, so putting up smartphones or glasses and seeing that content digitally, or in virtual reality, so being transposed into another world through glasses like um, you know, HTC Vive or Oculus Rift, etc. And with that, let's begin the show. So today we're going to be talking about standalone applications in augmented reality. And I wanted to use Hunger Games as an example. So the Hunger Games um, application that we developed a little over, uh, I believe, two years ago now, um, it had four main features. Number one was the augmented reality feature. So you could just click on AR and then after that, uh, a lens would open up. And then you could use that lens and point it towards a poster. And after that, uh, and with the theme of the movie, the poster would catch on fire. And then uh, after that, you would see a trailer. And once that trailer was finished, you could share it on Facebook or Twitter, etc. And the second feature was a photo booth. And this was really cool because then after that, you could just click on photo booth and then after that, you could take a picture of, let's say, you, yourself, either in selfie mode or your friends. And then after that, you could take a picture with one of the stars or one of the characters of the show. So Katniss or, one of, or, one of, or another one of those stars. And then after that, you could share that as well on Facebook or on Twitter. Uh, I got shared actually thousands of times, so it worked really, really great. Um, the fourth was, of course, just direct uh, to, to the website. So we just poured it into the application, the website. You clicked on it, you'd have all the information for ticketing, etc. And uh, the last one was wallpapers. And, and I was actually surprised about this. Wallpaper art uh, that we incorporated into the, into the application uh, which was shared actually a lot. And people stayed on and looked at it for, for, um, for you know, for several minutes so that, so it really had actually a lot, a lot of value. And every one of those wallpapers and uh, augmented reality experience and photo booth experiences had a uh, basically a little advertisement at the bottom that told you when the movie was coming out. So it was a really great um, uh, marketing and promotional tool. Now that being said, uh, this application was downloaded 100,000 times with really no marketing um, outside of what we did in Quebec in French. So return on investment was actually really, really great for what we got paid and uh, well, actually for what we charged and, um, and, and, and the amount of uh, impressions that they received uh, because of this application. Now, how do we build it? Uh, we built it through uh, using Xcode, so natively in iOS. Uh, that's how we built the whole application, the mobile application. And then the augmented reality experience that was built with uh, using the Unity engine, so we had um, so we had an artist that would um, that would go and create um, you know all the three D uh, all the cool tricky three D stuff that would go into the augmented reality experience and animate that, and then after that we poured it into the mobile application. So the result, yes, it was uh, it was actually quite successful. Um, so standalone augmented reality applications can work very very well, um, especially if they're in conjunction with you know a big movie that's being released or, or something of that nature. And, and with that, um, I'm gonna leave actually another little video at the end so you guys can see exactly how it looked like. Um, and if you have any more questions, you know, feel free, you know, send me emails, send me comments. I'm also gonna be leaving um, a link for a free book, a free VR book, so how to maximize uh, virtual reality. Um, uh, and also a link for the Augmented Reality Virtual Reality Association. If you're not part of that, you guys really, really should. So with that, thank you very much and have yourself a very, very nice day. Thank you.